Now let's take a look at stage two. Now stage two is agricultural societies. You'll notice that the birth rate tends to stay pretty high. You'll also notice that the death rate is going down substantially, and it is somewhat opposite of the total population. They seem to have an inverse relationship. So during agricultural societies, especially as opposed to a hunting, hunting and gathering one, is now there's more stable food production. More stable food production means um, less dying of starvation, overall population will go up, and the birth rate tends to stay high. Again, if you know just a little bit about this area, the birth rate tends to stay high because essentially you're making more workers for your farm. <laughs> making more workers for your farm, more people who can lend a hand and hopefully help out more than they consume in food. Hopefully they're more valuable in that manner. All right. Now, as we head to our third stage, what we notice here in industrial societies is that the total population continues to increase. Maybe not at the same rate as it did during the agricultural society, but it's definitely still going up. What else do we notice? Oh, the death rate is continuing to go down as societies become more advanced, um, more technology helps out, even though there, there might be a number of deaths from uh, industrial accidents, there's still more technology, tends to be more access to healthcare. Um, people can live in cities and uh, help survive that way. Now, a big thing to notice though, is that the birth rate starts to go way down. So why does the birth rate start to go down? Well, there, there's a couple reasons in regards to that. Um, for if you're working or maybe if um, two people are working, it starts to change the equation a little bit for the number of births that you can have that it makes sense to care for. Um, you don't necessarily need to have 10 kids to help staff your farm as well. Now, our final stage here, which is stage four, is one where the total population tends to level off a little bit, maybe even go down. And in this part, you're, you'll notice that the death rate is still pretty low, still pretty low, but the birth rate is substantially lower. It, you know, it, it bottoms out at this point. Maybe more people are involved in a number of different things, selling products rather than production. And at this point, it's called zero population growth. And there, there's even some countries out there who are experiencing this right now. I think Japan is one example.